Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer, and this is Hepta Mystery. Uh, Hepta Mystery is a spherical puzzle with a seven-fold symmetry. You can see the rotation symmetry at this side, and we look at the other side. We also see a seven-fold symmetry. Actually, there are seven cuts going all the way through the middle, which means that we have 14 ends coming together at one point, and then we have these little uh, heptagonal uh, viewports and these uh, di diamond pieces, etc. So maybe you remember that I've shown you some puzzles um, of the rocket shape. So this is uh, rocket star, and they have the special property that they can be reoriented in space. So for the rocket star, if you make uh, one rotation um, like this, so we do one move, then we take the other side, do another move, we see that the rocket has been reoriented in space. So, um, of course, I'll just put the rocket straight up. But uh, a Hepta Mystery has the same property. And it looks a bit flimsy, and the reason for that is I had to hide a lot of rails, um, and I want to keep it compact. Because uh, if uh, I really want to make this rugged, it should have been maybe three times as large, which means three to the power of three times more expensive, so it gets expensive very quickly. So I'm going to try to demonstrate the reorientation. So we see here the black uh, hole has the seven-fold symmetry, and now I'm going to try and make first one turn. And this is uh, a bit awkward because everything needs to be precisely aligned in order to prevent derailing. This is definitely not uh, a puzzle for the non-expert. Uh, so I think I have almost everything in place to make sure that it doesn't derail. I still see one derailing here. Oh, this is really the demo effect. And I think we have started the move. And there we go. And the move ends here. So um, now we are in a state that has actually a two-fold symmetry. If we uh, look at the red hole and the black hole and we rotate by 180 degrees, we see a rotation symmetry but there is no mirror symmetry. So we call this the left state. We started from the rocket state, and now we are going to make another move to uh, get back into rocket state again. I'm uh, going to do the awkward uh, derailing preventing move again. So here you see me rotate. Oops, it has already uh, been derailed. Well, let's continue uh, anyway. And I have made the full move, and well, please ignore the derailments. But uh, what we see here after those two moves, we are back into a seven-fold symmetry situation again. But now the red hole is the one that has the rotation symmetry. The black hole is just hidden at uh, one of the sides. And at the bottom we have a reorientation of the place where all 14 uh, pieces come together. So, um, even though as a prototype uh, it's a failed one, it's way too flimsy, as a proof of concept it shows that even with seven-fold symmetry, the rocket twist type of, uh, well, reorientation in space works. And especially since it has seven-fold uh, symmetry, um, we can easily prove that the number of axes that you have in space is infinite. My question to you is about uh, the seven-fold symmetry of this puzzle. What other puzzles do you know, mechanical puzzles, that have seven-fold symmetry? Thank you for watching.